It's no ordinary game of laser tag. Hector Savage says going through this maze full of zombies is like a video game come to life. It's interactive, it's fun, it gets everybody involved. It's, uh, you know, it's definitely unique. Savage says he's visited the Indoor Extreme Sports Center in Queens for nearly a decade. He says it takes him more than an hour to get there. Soon, he won't have to travel far. The owners plan to open a location in Bloomfield. There's just a general lack of, you know, family-friendly things to do in Staten Island, and, you know, this will certainly be a welcome addition. Our concept is get your kids off the couch and put them into the game. Chin lived on the island for 15 years. He says the location and lease price drew him in. The sports center will be at the former site of a chocolate factory near the West Shore Expressway. Nowhere else are you going to get size of spaces like this. Uh, very much left in the city. The facility is one of seven businesses expected to open on the West Shore in the coming months. The owners have worked with the Staten Island Economic Development Corporation. Chin says the organization has helped him work with city agencies. Any kind of help you can get navigating through the system, you know, the ease just, just saves you time in the long run. The facility will also have paintball and archery. Instead of paint, rubber is used. Owner Christopher Fermacell says it's easier to clean up and draws more people in. We're very excited that we can get customers, which whether they be kids or adults. Machinery like these conveyor belts were left over from the chocolate factory, but Chin says they won't go to waste. He plans on using them as props in the new facility. The center is expected to open in about eight weeks. Savage says he plans to bring more of his family members more often. On Staten Island, Aaron Dickens, New York One.